everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome, my name is Callie, and this is my YouTube channel dedicated to all things nails and beauty. If you want to see a new video every Friday at 4pm Eastern Standard Time, then definitely stick around for more videos like this. Today's video is actually being uploaded on New Year's Eve, which is really exciting. I cannot believe the start of a new decade is right around the corner. And so yeah, this is just a fun bonus video. I do this video, I think I've done it every year since I've been on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. So this is a fun tradition here on my channel. So I will be doing my huge 2019 nail polish recap. I am so excited to do this video. It took me so long to come up with all my favorites and sort through the polishes that I was introduced to this year. So I will be showing you guys some of my favorites from collections that came out this year or polishes that I found this year, some of my favorites to use in nail art, and then of course my top three polishes of the year. So without any further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay you guys, so before we get into the polishes, I'll be showing you what's on my nails today. Today I am wearing a really pretty polish by 10 over 10, which I reviewed recently, so click the card if you want to go see that video next. And it is called Mott, this gorgeous red. Then I also have Disco Ball Drop, which is from China Glaze, on top, and it's so pretty. I love this type of glitter gradient manicure. It's really gorgeous and one of my favorites this year actually. So before we, get, we begin, I'm going to go over the categories really quickly because they are a little bit different from last year as usual. So I will be showing you guys my top five. I'm calling it my MVP most valuable player polishes because they are polishes that I used a ton in nail art and they were just super helpful, really versatile. So that's the first category I'll be showing you. Then I'll be showing you my top two polishes from a bunch of different collections that I got to see this year. And I actually didn't get as many polishes this year as I have in other years so it was nice to be able to sort through these polishes and really show you guys some of my favorites from what I discovered this year and so yeah I'll be showing you those and then I have my top four polishes just from brands that I found this year it doesn't necessarily mean they came out this year but they were just ones that I purchased and I really enjoyed then finally I'll be showing you guys my top two favorites for top and base coat. Then we will finish off with my top three of this year. So let's start with the first category. So in no particular order, let's start with my MVP polishes. It actually occurred to me after I just recorded that last clip that I will be calling this my MVP most valuable polishes category because I thought that was more funny. So anyway, this one is called Malibu Boo and I use this one so much this year. As many of you know, I think I mentioned this in a recent video actually, I don't currently own a plain simple black polish. I don't really know why, I just don't wear black nails a lot so I never really think to buy one. So I do buy interesting black polishes though because I just think they're really cool and there are so many different ways to wear a black polish so Anyway, this one has a drop of holographing in it. This is from, I think it was a collection from last year, but it was China Glaze Paint It Black. I think that was the collection. And this one's super unique. And I use this one in a ton of different nail art things for details or just if I needed a black polish, many different things. So this one was super helpful. Another one from China Glaze. This is the one that I mentioned that I have on my nails today. This one is called Disco Ball Drop and it is a beautiful silver holographic polish with some hexagon glitter, circular glitter, and regular silver of course. So this one is one of my favorites. I was looking through my Instagram and I have so many nail art looks with this polish for either just detail or if I wanted some sparkle. I did use this one a lot and I think this was a really great one because I think everybody needs to have a really nice silver holographic polish so this one is great if you have it or if you can find it. This is from the China Glaze Glam Finale collection from two years ago I believe. This next one is Snow Me White. I'm pretty sure I talk about this one a lot on my channel, but this is my favorite white to use for nail art, and it's just a simple plain white. It's really, really great if you're looking for an inexpensive polish to use for nail art because this is from Sinful Colors, and their polishes are usually between $2 and $4, so this one is great. I highly recommend this one. I think it's a really underrated white, and it's really good. So I use this one so much for nail art if I needed a really nice base or if I just needed some white as a detail this was a great polish super versatile super super great and this one I highly recommend so that is snow me white by simple Colors. this next one I used a ton during the 31 day challenge which I did in November this year this is called tinsel tidings and this is from chaotic glitz polish this is such a cute polish and it's perfect for Christmas because it has these really cute snowman and tree label it's sparkly and really cute this is a really nice deep holographic kind of Santa red it's so great and I use 
this for so much nail art during the 31 day challenge and during the year in general so this one was really super helpful and valuable during a lot of nail art sessions and I really like this one so this one is great I found this one at the indie shop that I visited last year but you may be able to find this on their website I'm not entirely sure but if you do have this one or something similar it's a great polish to use finally I just had to include this one it's super special and super super helpful this one one is called Pink Blink from Sally Hansen Insta Dry, and you can see I have used so much of this polish. This is the fill line right here. And this one, I used it in nail art all year long. This is such a great basic light pink to have in your collection. It dries really nicely, it works really well, and you can see I will put my review of the Sally Hansen Insta Dry polishes in the cards. This one is one of my favorites of all time for nail art. It's so great and really versatile. I use this a lot for flower manicures or if I want to do some other kind of nail art, this is just great. And you can use this in so many ways and it's so nice. It's good in two coats if you're just going to wear it. I rarely wear this one as a polish by itself, but if I do, it's really pretty, and I do really like this polish. It's great. So that is it for my most valuable polishes collection, and this one is probably the winner because I did use this one the most, I think. Next up is four polishes that I just happened to purchase this year. So these are polishes that I found in the store or ones from brands that I haven't tried before and I just really wanted to include them. So this one is from Morgan Taylor. This is called B-Girl Style and I just love this type of pink polish. It's really bright. It's a nice Barbie pink. It's super almost neon but not quite. It has a really nice shimmer in it and this one is just so stunning in the summer and you know any season in general but I prefer this one in the summer or the spring. It's super bright, super shimmery and I highly recommend this one. This would look so amazing on a variety of skin tones and it's really really pretty. Next I have this one which isn't showing up super great on camera but it might look different when I go to edit it so anyway this one is called Pixie Dust, a really cute name from Finger Paints Polish. You can find this brand at Sally Beauty. This one is such a unique color. I saw this one and I just thought it was really interesting. I can't remember, I'm pretty sure I got this from the clearance section, but I'm not entirely sure. This one is just super, super beautiful. It has this kind of periwinkle base with a lot of gray in it, and it does have a decent amount of linear holographic in it. This one is just so stunning. It's so pretty. I actually, my mom really liked this one. She wore this in a manicure this past year, and we both thought it was absolutely beautiful. It's really great in one to two coats. It's super, super sparkly in the sun, and it's really pretty, so I highly recommend this one if you can find it. This next polish is super special to me. I purchased this one while I was visiting New York City, which I do have a vlog of. It was such a fun trip, and I'm I'm so glad that I got to go but I did find this one in one of the drugstores around the city and this one is beautiful I've always wanted an Essie gel couture polish just because the bottles are so pretty and super unique and a really nice thing to display but this one is called Galavante. it's not showing up great on camera but it is a kind of a nice wine red with a little bit of purple in it and it's really beautiful a dark nice maroon burgundy color for the fall that's my favorite time of year to wear this type of color or the winter as well but this one has a great form Formula. It applies really nicely. I actually showed you this one in my swatch with me video that I posted a few months ago So if you want to go watch that then that will be somewhere on my channel So this one is great, and I'm just so happy to have this in my collection this next one I actually did review quite recently, and this one is called Blossom. It's this beautiful natural nude neutral polish, and it's from Koki Cosmetics. This one is so great, and I've been looking for a polish like this all year long, and I didn't have a good one. This one, my favorite polish like this used to be OPI Bubble Bath, but I haven't been able to find that one anywhere. So this one was a really nice one to add to my collection. I know I will be using this a ton for French manicures and a ton of different manicures next year. This one is really great for natural nail art and I just really like how this applies. So if you want to see my full review of these Koki polishes then you can check out the video. I will link it in the cards. So now let's move on to my favorites from collections that came out this year. I didn't really get a lot of polishes from collections this year so that's why I changed this category to just two from each one because that's pretty much what I purchased from collections that I really liked this year. But anyway, I have polishes to show you from the China Glaze Sesame Street collection, the China Glaze Sesame Street Holiday Collection. 
the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Crayola Metallic Collection, the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Matte Collection, the OPI Japan Collection, and the China Glaze Arrangement Collection. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. We'll start with the Sesame Street Collection. So this one right here is absolutely beautiful. This one is called Free to Be Sesame, and it's a really pretty sparkly green. It's pretty much an emerald green, but it has a little bit more blue in it. This one is a scattered holographic polish, and it has all this glitter in it. It's really pretty. It kind of has a jelly formula, but not quite, and I really do like this one. As expected, it's not ridiculously holographic because it is just a mainstream polish, but for a mainstream, this one is really great, and I really like this one. This collection was so cute, and both of these Sesame Street collections were super special to me, so I'm really glad I got to get a couple polishes from each. And I also did review these two polishes that I'm showing you right now in a video, so I will link those in the cards as well. Also, if I run out of cards to include all these things. I will try to link all these videos in the description box, but anyway, let's move on to the next one. This next one is called Beak on Fleek, which is an adorable name. This is a Big Bird polish, and as I mentioned many times before, Big Bird is super special to me, and this is such a cute polish. It didn't have the best formula, unfortunately, but I thought it was really unique. This is kind of like a really nice mustard yellow. I would definitely wear this in the fall. This would be amazing with an orange polish or a black polish. This would be so cool in the fall, so I will definitely be reaching for this one again when that time comes but this one is nice. It has a very interesting matte formula, which China Glaze does include in a lot of their collections, so I really like this one. It's very, very unique. Next, let's move on to my favorites from the China Glaze Holiday Collection, and that was also Sesame Street themed. This one is called Fa La 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 A A A, which is based on the Count, which I thought was the cutest name ever. This one is so pretty. It has this really pretty sparkly purple base with this really great yellow gold flash. This is pretty much a flaky polish, but it's really nice, and I do like this one. I really think this is a nice New Year's Eve polish, actually, so if you have this one, this would be a great option for today. And this is just really pretty, and I'm really glad I got to review this collection. And I'm really glad I got the mini set because now I have a really nice sample of all the polishes, and they're so pretty. Next up, this one I actually really wish I'd had time to use for a Christmas manicure because this is so unique. This one is called On the Nice List, and it just reminds me of like a candy cane in a bottle if you crushed up peppermint or something. That's what this really reminds me of. It has all this unique bar glitter in it, and a little, I believe it also has circular glitter. It's really fine glitter as like a background to the bar glitter. It's in a clear base, and it's like this shimmery, like tinsel like red kind of glitter. It's really unique, and I would wear this by itself on my nails. I think that would be a really cool look, but you can also layer this over any other color you want. It would be super, super cool, very versatile. I really like this one. Moving on to the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Crayola Metallic Collection. I think that was the name of it. I'm not entirely sure, but this one is called Bedazzled Blue, and this is the this is a super unique, very, very, very foil finish dark dark blue with a lot of silver in it and it's super unique it reminds me a lot of like a storm kind of polish like if a storm was in a bottle that's what this is it's so pretty it's such a really interesting polish and I do like how they include the caps that match the bottle I think that's really cool so this one is very unique and I'm very happy to have this in my collection it's super super cool and I think this would be a nice Halloween polish next we have alloy or alloy orange I'm not sure how you say it but this one is very pretty it's basically like if you took a pumpkin and some silver and tossed it in a bottle. That's what this looks like to me. It's an orange with a lot of brown in it. It's kind of a muted orange, but then of course it has all this silver in it. And of course these polishes probably do have a lot of this pigment stuck to the sides of the bottle. So I don't remember how this looks on the nails. I'm pretty sure I swatched both of these. I think it was just a long time ago. But anyway, again, this one has the same thing where they include the cap that matches, which I really appreciate. I like that detail. And these look so nice together and I think they're really great for the fall. Next we have two from, and this wasn't exactly a collection, this was more of a new addition to their core collection, but this is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Matte Collection. This one is called Burnished Wine, and this one looks so cool in the bottle. It wasn't my favorite on the nails by itself, but I think this one will be a great topper to use because it's very pretty. It has this kind of interesting purple kind of flash to it and a lot of multi-chrome in it, a little bit of scattered glitter, but this one's really unique, and I think this would look really cool over a black polish or a purple polish. That'd be really nice. 
Next we have Smoldering Teal, and this one is super pretty. I love polishes like this. It's just a really nice color. So this one is kind of a really pale, kind of muted blue, and then it has a lot of this kind of seafoam green flash to it. It's very unique, and both of these dry in a very interesting way. I actually do like it. It's pretty unique. It's a little bit different from the way that China Glaze does their matte polishes, so I appreciated that. And this one's really cool. I like this one. Next we have the OPI Japan Collection. This one is so pretty, one of my favorites from this collection. This is called Samurai Breaks a Nail. It has kind of this grape soda kind of fuchsia purple base and then it has a little bit of an indigo purple kind of flash to it. It's very, very pretty and again, one of those really striking polishes on the nails would look amazing on a variety of skin tones and I really like this one. It's also pretty good for any season. I think you could use this one in the winter or in the fall and especially the spring and summer but it's great for all year round wear so it's really pretty. Next we have Arigato from Tokyo. I hope I'm saying that right. This one is very very pretty and it's a very muted kind of fuchsia. It's basically like a fuchsia cream if that makes sense. It's a purple but it has a lot of pink in it. It's almost like a magenta I guess and it's really pretty. It's very very muted so this is nice again for all year round wear. Very pretty and I haven't seen a lot of polishes like this so I appreciate it. Next one. we have two from the China Glaze Arrangement Collection. This is the last ones for this category. So this one is called Hydrangea Danger which I thought was the cutest name ever which is mostly why I bought it but it's still really pretty. This one has a really nice pale kind of almost a cornflower blue but it's almost like a pastel cornflower blue. It's super light, has a drop of periwinkle in it. It has all this kind of really fine silver shimmer. You can't really see it when it's on your nails from what I remember but it is there and it is a nice subtle sparkle so if you want something really simple on your nails but you still want a little bit of shimmer this is a great option and I really like this one as well. This is also really good for year round wear. Finally we have What's Up Buttercup. This is super unique and I just I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one one, but it just was so so unique that I figured I would grab it because I thought it was really interesting so this one is so hard to describe I've tried to describe this one to you guys in many videos and I always have trouble with it but it's basically like a chocolate gold that's the best description I can come up with because it's almost like if you took a piece of gold and dipped it in chocolate that's what this looks like and it has kind of an orangey flash to it but not really it's super hard to describe you guys but I think this is a really unique one it's not for everyone I know that it's kind of like an ugly pretty polish but I've never met a polish I didn't like as I always say so I think this is a great one I will definitely be wearing this around Thanksgiving and Halloween this is a great one for the fall. finally we've got my top favorites for my top and base coat this one is the same as last year this is my Zoya anchor base coat this one hasn't let me down yet so I really like this one and I think it's great this is a really nice one if you do a lot of nail art I think it protects your nails decently well my nails have stayed pretty nice over this year so I really like this one very very useful. next I have my top favorite for my top coat this one is from Pacifica and this is their gloss 7 free top and base coat which I was kind of skeptical of buying a top and base coat combination and I don't usually use this as a base coat it's only my top coat but I was going to get a refill of my Zoya armor top coat which was usually my favorite but I wanted to try something new and I really needed a top coat so that's why I bought this one but I actually ended up really liking it and the one thing that I didn't really like about the Zoya armor top coat was that it didn't keep my nails super glossy which this one doesn't do super well either but it's I think it's better than the armor top coat so I really like this one better for the glossy finish and it does seem to keep my nails from chipping for a while so I think they're both about the same but this one was what I've been using for the last several months so I really like this one I think it's a great one and if you don't want to buy a separate top and base coat I guess you could give this one a try I think it's really nice and of course Pacifica 7 free vegan cruelty free all the good things so this one's great so finally let's move on to my top three polishes of 2019 I actually had a super hard time picking these out because as I said I didn't get a lot of new polishes this year and I really wanted to include some nice ones and different ones for my top three so this was a work in progress but I did manage to choose these and two of them are actually fairly new to me so I thought that was interesting but let's start with the polish that's in third place in third place, we have this beautiful polish from 10 over 10. This one is called Mott, and this is the one, again, that I have on my nails today. 
I just thought this one was super, super great. This one really impressed me. And you can see my full review of these in the cards or in the description box, whichever ends up happening. But this one is great. I was shocked. These polishes, I was a little skeptical about the formulas at first because they were very watery, but they were so unique. These were the formulas. I tried two polishes in this brand and the formulas on both of them were incredibly, they seemed really thin and I thought they wouldn't be that great, but they covered so well and they really look so nice on the nails and I just can really see myself using this one a lot so this is my third place winner for my top favorite polishes of 2019. Coming in second place we have This Beauty by Sally Hansen. This is from their Mega Strength collection. This one is called Persist Tint and I didn't get to use this one as much as I would have liked to this year but I did use it. I think the first thing I used it for was a pedicure and I thought it was beautiful and I think I also used it in another manner here at some point but this one just really impressed me every time I wanted to paint my nails I kept thinking about this one but then I would think of something else and I wouldn't get to do it but <laughs> this one is still one of my favorites and I thought it was really unique and that's kind of what I tried to do this year I didn't want to pick since I had the most valuable polishes category I didn't want to pick polishes that I used a lot this year if that makes sense I just wanted to pick ones that I thought really stood out to me and were really unique and just ones that I liked even if I only used them once or twice I really wanted to include ones that really caught my attention so this one is great it's a really nice kind of mauve pink base it's really shimmery it has this beautiful icy blue flash across the front this one is great and I can't wait to use it for more nail art in 2020 so coming in first place drum roll please we have 50 Shimmering Years from the China Glaze Sesame Street Holiday Collection. This one is so pretty, so unique. I just really, really liked this one. I did wear this one for, I think it was about a week, over top of another polish by Sally Hansen. It just reminded me so much of cinnamon sugar and gingerbread, and it was just the perfect holiday polish, so I love this one. I think it's really great, and I really want to see if I can get a full size of this one because I think it's so pretty, and I really want to have it in my collection. I know I'll be using this one a ton in 2020. It's beautiful. I highly recommend it. It's this really nice, like I said, cinnamon sugar polish. It's kind of like a rose gold with a little bit more brown in it. It has a drop of holographic, all different size glitter. I think this one's amazing. So there was no other polish that I could think of that I liked as much as this one, even though I only used it once this year and swatched it once. But And it was fairly recent. I only swatched this one a few weeks ago. But I really think this one is very special. And of course, it was from this collection, which was very special to me. And I just really like it. So that is my first place winner for 2019. Wow. So that is it for today's video. This is my last video of 2019. I cannot believe it. This is so incredible. And I just, like I said before, I cannot believe that 2020 is coming in just a few hours. So I wish you all the best in health and happiness in 2019. I hope you all have a really fun and safe and celebratory New Year's Eve and have some fun with your family and friends. And I just can't wait to see what happens in 2020. I know there'll be so many new things coming to my channel then. So be on the lookout for new videos, new types of videos, all different things you'll get to see here on my channel. And I'm also super happy with this background. So I'm looking forward to changing it up for the new year. As always, thank you to everybody who has chosen to hit the subscribe button to follow me on Instagram, like my videos, like my posts, all your support means the world, so thank you so much. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this year on my channel. It was so much fun to try out different types of videos. I I got to do so many cool things here on my channel in 2019, from different reviews to different types of videos, really fun collabs with a ton of really amazing nail artists and all things like that. So, and I also got to connect with a ton of you guys, which was, which was great. So I just really hope you guys stick around for more things coming in 2020 and I hope you all have a really fantastic start to the new decade. Thank you for a great 2019 and I will see you next year. Have a polished rest of your day. Bye.